In Japan, there's an art form that by any standard would be considered extreme, where the paintbrush is made of two dozen needles and the canvas is human flesh, every inch of flesh from your wrists to your ankles. It's called horimono, Japanese full body tattoo. These full body masterpieces can cost tens of thousands of dollars and a lifetime of suffering to complete. I can feel the needle going in and in and in. But for all that's endured to get one, these tattoos are usually hidden. Why go to all that pain and suffering for something few others will ever see? Because showing it can identify you as one of the most notorious and feared members of Japanese society. They're called Yakuza, the gangsters of Japan. They inhabit a world of drug running, prostitution, extortion, and other crimes. In this realm, horimono is a mark of belonging. As a result, most Japanese view horimono as a symbol of the mob, unfit for public display. But one man is on a mission to change all that. Iji Ruzuki is a renowned horimono master, known by the artist name Horikoi. Horikoi uses a time-honored design that allows wearers to keep their ink hidden under their clothes. These suits of tattoo are left bare in strategic places, hands, feet, and center of the chest. Samurai make a fierce showing in many of these designs. Most horimono is based on legendary warriors and heroes whose tales have symbolic meaning for the wearer. The images are typically drawn from classic Japanese woodblock prints. But tattoos weren't always a matter of personal aesthetics. Hundreds of years ago, Japanese authorities gave tattoos to criminals as a form of punishment. These tattoos allowed the public to identify and ostracize wearers. But by the end of the 17th century, outlaws were hiding these tattoos with decorative patterns. Some believe that the covering of prison tattoos was the beginning of the notorious link between organized crime and horimono. Horikoi believes that the best way to change the prejudice against horimono is to take it on in the flesh. Once a month, he organizes a performance at a local bar, exposing the public to a mix of karaoke, Japanese tradition, and horimono. By putting the spotlight on horimono, Horikoi hopes to remove the stigma that has clung to it for so long. It would be very nice to eliminate that prejudice. His efforts may already be working. Ever more people are turning to Horikoi to transform their bodies into living art. This is my life and my style. I hope that people that understand this join me and I will join them.